All right, so here we go. I'm going to I'm going to talk to you about the advantages of the original Swedish goggles from the Montebera goggles from Malmsten. The original Swedish goggles. What's so great about these goggles is first of all, they're stylish, right? I love the way they look. They are they have that minimalist style to them. Um, they're great. They're low profile, so they are effective from that aspect also. Um, they're inexpensive. I got them. I got these off Amazon for like four bucks. Obviously, with a little bit of shipping and handling, costs a little bit more. But you buy a couple of them at once. That way, you you always have them on hand. Um, they don't have the anti-fog agent in it. That's what I like also. We've talked about that before, and we I, I, in my in my uh, um, goggles issue. And uh, hey, these are these are ult the ultimate goggles into customizing to your fit. I mean, we'll, I'll show you how that works. I mean, they. They are customized exactly to you, um, uh, and they're inexpensive. And, uh, and that's pretty much it. That's what makes these goggles so great. So uh, let's get into it. Let's talk about it. Let's put these, let, let me show you how to put these things together. Here we go. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to dump the contents out right here on the table. You can see what we got. So what we got is two eye sockets right here. Two eye sockets. Uh, we got a nose nose piece, we got a strap, and we got the rubber part of the nose piece. That's all we got, and we got to put these things together. Um, so the first thing you got to do um, when you're putting these things together is you got to file down the little edges here. They're, you know, it comes straight out of the uh, die casting, and there's a little bit of edges. You got you to file them off so, so it's not going to dig in your eyes. And again, these are pretty simplified, minimalist goggles, but you're customizing it to yourself. So. You need to file them off. That's the first thing we got to do. So let's do that. So this is what I got right here. Just basic little file off of a uh, um, pocket knife type thing right here. But it's real simple. Just go through. You feel the edges on there. File it down. Just make it that much more comfortable for yourself, right? I won't spend my whole time doing this, but just kind of giving you guys an idea. Okay, so once you've finished filing the edges of your eye sockets down, then what you do is you take your uh, string here, you run it through the little front nose piece. Then what you do is you take this little rubber piece and you run it through just like this, all right? You run it through, you see that? Then you take it, take the other piece, run it through the other hole like this, okay? And then what you do is you, uh, Tighten a knot. Tie it into a square knot. That's always going to be a little bit more. Uh, um, the square knot versus a granny knot is going to be a little bit more. Um, going to hold a little better. All right. So this is what you do. You kind of once you do that, then you can kind of adjust it yourself a little bit. Tie it in there. Don't don't tie it super tight at first. But uh, all right. Okay, once, once you've uh, got that string tied and you pull it tight, then what you do is uh, cut this extra string off. You don't, want to cut it, you don't want to cut it right down to the edge because it might slip through. You want to leave a little bit of room there. That's what I do. But then, you know what I like to do? I don't like having the string being exposed. So you know what? I'm gonna I pull it like this. I pull it out. Can you see that? And then I suck it. I let it get sucked into. Um, I will let it get sucked into the uh, the rubber thing. I will work the way. Like this. Pull it through. So you kind of like what you can kind of do, and then I will uh, rotate this around like. I, I rotate the paper, or I rotate the um, 
it goggles around on here and then I, I kind of will suck that that knot in the middle so that way that it won't that way I won't see you won't see see how that's going working keep on doing that it's a good way I will uh, rotate it pull it like that so that so that the knot gets in the middle of this uh, and there's no uh, no excess um, strands being exposed. I just like it like that because it looks nice. It looks neater. It looks cleaner. I don't like. I don't like having a a piece of string flopping around. Some people don't mind it. I, I don't like it, man. I, I, I like to um, do that. So how I work this? So here's a knot kind of right here. I keep on just working. I kind of pull it through. So the knot's over here, and I kind of there you go. See how I got tight like that? I just keep on working my way along so that that knot gets thrown in the middle of this of this blue rubber thing and and it looks cleaner and I don't have see how that worked out and I don't have uh, I don't have any like strands being exposed now the other th so what's nice about this is once you have it adjusted once you have your uh, um, now now what you do and it might not even be perfect right now so you know what you do is you twist it you twist it and you can make it smaller right you keep on twisting it you make it smaller that's why that's how you can customize these things perfectly to your to your uh, to your eyes I mean it's just it's perfect so you just twist it around so what you do is you, is you, and that's how you that's how you um, zero it in to where it's really customized is you twist it and then once once you figure out your the exact um, fit then what you do, then you put your gog then you put your straps on. So all you gotta do to put your straps in, real simple. You push it through uh, and they're pretty tight. Um, these goggles they don't come with uh, they don't come with any kind of like um, clip or anything like that. So all you all you do is you tie them up in a knot. Fit. Here we go. We're good to go. We are ready to go with my uh, Swedish goggles.